Hello, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking all about trends that I really love, that I think are classic, that are enduring and ones that will really last beyond the current season, ones that you can effortlessly incorporate into your wardrobe right now. I recently did a video talking all about the trends that I dislike, the ones that I wish people would stop buying. I'm going to link that up in the cards. Really, really fun reading through all of your comments on that video. There were definitely some polarizing ones that I mentioned. But yeah, um, I thought that this would be a little bit of fun to kind of have a bit more of a positive spin so I'm gonna just dive right into it and start with the first trend that I'm absolutely loving that I adore and it is dark chocolate tones and I feel like the beige aesthetic it's had its moment it's still around but I know many of you are kind of tired of everything beige even though I am wearing kind of a full cream outfit today <laughs> um, and I am loving the shift to this darker deeper chocolate brown um, I think it's really beautiful and actually it reminds me a lot of my mother because she wore a lot of chocolate brown colors and I think this is also one of the reasons why I am just loving injecting a little bit of that deep brown hue into my own wardrobe. It reminds me of her and it's one of those ways I can connect to her on a style level. Um, for those of you who don't know, she passed away uh, seven years ago. So um, for me, that is an enduring classic because when I think of my mother's wardrobe, it was incredibly classic. A lot of the items that she had, she was wearing, you know, from 10 years prior. Um, so I do have a few dark brown items in my own wardrobe, which I'm really loving. The first being a coat from Low Classic. Uh, this one, it just feels so elegant, so luxurious, and so refined in this deep chocolate brown color. Uh, also, I think the silhouette of it helps to kind of add to that overall feel. Um, but I will have a little photo on screen so you can see what it looks like. Then I do have a couple of other chocolate brown bits which I am really enjoying in my wardrobe. So one being this little bag from Oort, which is again like it's a really really dark brown almost black and actually this is one of the things i like about brown uh dark brown as a trend is that for many black can feel a little bit too high contrast especially if you have a fairer skin tone so opting for a dark brown or even a navy which is another very classic kind of color to have as part of your color palette in your wardrobe are really simple ways to have that darker element but without it feeling like it is too harsh against your complexion so that's the other one and everything that i do talk about i will try and link in the description box below where i can and then finally the third piece that i've got which really does uh, kind of I think pull into this trend are these little Vivaya pointed toe flats in an espresso brown these are slightly lighter but I do think that they really fall under this trend uh, and would be perfect as part of a tonal look and for me they're a nice change to a lighter nude flat which is something that I often wear as part of my kind of core capsule wardrobe. The second trend also delves into the theme of color and it is dopamine dressing. I've talked about this before and I love that actually many of you just incorporate really colorful elements into your outfits naturally. For me, I love my neutrals. So the shift towards injecting brighter, bolder hues into my outfits does feel really fresh and exciting. And I think after the past sort of two and a half years, many of us are looking for ways that we can add a little bit of extra joy into our day and in clothes cognition which is the concept that what we wear does have an impact on our mood it's something that I personally see a lot of value in and I can tell you when I throw on something that is a vibrant color I feel it I feel a shift in the way that I feel that day and uh, I, I definitely feel a lot more upbeat a lot more happy and it's all down to the vibrant colors so for me it really all started with this lovely little mini dress that I bought from Age last year. I think they do a similar style because this one will probably now be sold out but I was really drawn to this when I looked at it online and I have to admit when I went in store to try it on just for fun it was very much an impulse buy. It's not something I'm going to wear all the time but when I do I feel amazing. I feel uh, like I'm wearing something really fun. It feels whimsical. I like the fact that it's not only a bold color but it also has the water color effect as well with the kind of um, paint brush strokes of uh, pink across it but just a really really fun dress and one that is definitely part of this dopamine dressing trend the other item that I have is a handbag which you probably won't really have seen uh, I don't think I've shared this too much here on my YouTube or even over on Instagram but it is my little Fendi peekaboo I think this is a small size I purchased this back in December and again I had the same thought I felt that 
because I do wear so many neutrals, having this little bag in a bright red bold tomato red color would be a really fun way to uh, jazz up an outfit, make it feel a little bit more vibrant, a little bit more happy. And when I look at it, it makes me smile. Uh, it really does. And it's that whole enclosed cognition concept coming into effect. So that is the other item that I've got that really kind of dives into that trend. Oh, and I also have this beautiful skirt from Leo and Lynn, which is this lovely yellow it has this kind of tropical floral print to it i will pop a picture up on screen that one feels very kind of holiday appropriate and it's one that i'm very much looking forward to cracking out a lot during the spring summer months now, the third trend that I want to talk about is more of a spring summer trend, but one that I'm looking forward to hopefully adding into my own closet. It is the fisherman sandal. I feel like we've kind of been seeing these a lot over the last kind of 12 months. And I personally think this is one that can endure depending on your personal preferences when it comes to shoes. You can either get ones that are a little bit more, uh, I would say slim fitting on the foot, or you can get ones that are a little bit more chunky. I would say the Gaia sandals, I believe they're called from the row are probably the ones that have been making the rounds as the more luxurious option, but so many brands are doing them at the moment. Uh, I think one of the ones that I saw which really kind of drew me into it were the pair that Everlane have done. I, I will pop some pictures up on screen and I will link some of my favorites down below, but I think these are a really cool shoe for the summertime. Your entire foot is enclosed, it's covered up, uh, but it is a breathable option. So it could be a great shoe to wear in a more casual working environment if you are allowed to wear ones that are an open toe but you can't wear a full-on strappy sandal that is kind of barely there which in a Sydney summer is something that you probably really would like to do um, so that is the next one sorry things look different my memory card was full okay next trend that I'm really liking is the whole fluid trouser trend so it's diving into that tailoring element which I think we've seen a lot of over the last few years despite the fact that many of our lifestyles have changed uh, but I'm, I'm liking this sort of the shift towards this looser relaxed pant and I do have a couple of pairs in my wardrobe which I feel really kind of fit this vibe and I have some from Tibby which I bought last year then I've got these ones here from Everlane which are really really nice and they also come in a linen fabric as well which is perfect if you live in the northern hemisphere and it's summertime and you kind of want to wear this trend but you want something that is in a lighter weight fabrication uh, and actually hang on Speaking of linen, I do have this really beautiful black pair. These are from Facade Pattern, which is turning out to be one of my favorite brands for tailoring in general, uh, which have this really nice long leg. They look absolutely stunning on, and I really like these worn with a chunky sandal or even a slimline sandal as well. I think they just look incredibly chic, and it's a really nice way to... Uh, elevate your outfit without actually putting in much effort and also while feeling comfortable at the same time. So very, very into this particular trend. And I think it is again, one that will endure and that even if you're wearing it, you know, two, three, four, five, 10, 20 years from now, it's not going to feel dated at all. I forgot to get this next one out of the wardrobe and it is the baby doll top. I've seen a lot of people talking about this. I actually kind of consider these to be more peplum tops and I really, really like them because I think it creates a slightly different silhouette, different shape. Baby doll being ones which have the empire waist, so very similar to the age dress that I showed you before. And then peplum tops being ones that do have the peplum slightly lower down the top, like these ones here that I've got from Tibby. I have quite a few of these and Actually, it's a style of top that I was wearing 10 years ago and one that I'm very, very happy is very much a trend again now because there are so many options out there. Uh, I personally like it when the peplum is a little bit lower and I think these look incredibly chic when worn with silk uh, slip skirts and also with a tailored trouser as well. Uh, I did a recent video where I paired this silk one with uh, a nylon trouser which I felt was a bit of an unexpected juxtaposition and I really love the way that that turned out. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm very much into this and I think it is a style that is incredibly flattering and actually from a maternity perspective, I wore these peplum tops a lot through as much of my pregnancy as I could because I felt like they really nicely covered my bump. So yeah, the baby doll peplum top trend. I'm very much here for it. And it's definitely one that I'm going to continue wearing even after it is no longer considered trendy. 
Now, I don't think you're going to be surprised to hear me mention this next trend because I have talked about it quite a bit and I know this is very much a Marmite one. Some of you love it and some of you wish it would just go away, which is fair enough. It is the oversized blazer. Now, there is a scale when it comes to oversized blazers. There is slightly oversized, a little bit more relaxed, a bit more roomy through the body and across the shoulder. And then there is the extreme end, which is very oversized. So I've got two that sort of run the gamut of the spectrum. So the first one being from our kit. This is the slimmer oversized fit. This one, I will pop some photos of what this looks like on me. Uh, this is this beautiful kind of uh, wool mix and it is cut a little bit wider across the body. There is a beautiful drape to it, it has fluidity uh, and I'm really, really loving that concept of having more fluidity in my outfits um, and I think that is a lot of what these trends are sort of speaking to and that is what feels really modern to me uh, but it just it has a really nice drape on the body it hangs really really well and it doesn't look like it is too big for me it doesn't feel too oversized it just feels very comfortable and you can fit sort of a really nice thick knit underneath as well I can't do incredible oversized blazers I would say stick to your true size uh, also um, if you aren't able to access our kit if you live in the US Cos and also and other stories do very very similar styles so I will link some alternatives but uh, I do think that this is a really nice sort of introduction into the oversized blazer trend that doesn't feel too extreme. At the other end of the spectrum where it is really really oversized you've got the Frankie Shop blazers which are definitely doing the browns. Uh, I bought mine as part of my low buy. Uh, this is in the black. It does come in sort of a taupey brown colour at the moment as well and I will say if you are petite I'd probably actually size down one or two sizes because these are incredibly large and I feel like I have to style it in a very particular way so that it doesn't look like I'm wearing my granddad's blazer uh, it does have that sort of effect but if you like that oversized relaxed silhouette then you may be very into this there are so many more affordable alternatives out there though and I don't necessarily think that you need to go out and buy one from Frankie shop while this has held up really well so far and I have worn it quite a bit there's been no pulls the fabric looks great uh, I don't necessarily think you need to spend this much money to buy into this trend uh, I feel like the high street do it really well H&M has a whole bunch of oversized blazers which will give you the exact same look and probably actually have a very similar sort of a fabric as well if I'm being completely honest so uh, yeah, that is the oversized blazer trend. I know it's not for everyone, but I personally love it. And sometimes I think even just intentionally sizing up one can give you the same look as well. Like for example, the blazer that I'm wearing today, this is actually a cheap and cheerful purchase from H&M and was one which I just went up to a medium and it just has a little bit more relaxed fit across the shoulders and through the body, which I really like. Final trend that I'm absolutely loving right now, and this is definitely one that I think is a trend rather than something that will endure beyond the next season or two. It is euphoria inspired makeup if you're not familiar with euphoria it is a tv series it reminds me a lot of the british series skins which i watched about a decade ago probably more than that actually uh because i was still living at home so really really long time ago but kind of similar in terms of the characters the character development uh, and also the sorts of themes it's a really kind of gritty series it's got zendaya in it and she is actually brilliant as rue um so in the series, the characters all wear really playful, fun, vibrant, bright, uh, pastel colored makeup. It feels very sort of unique and uh, it has this element of whimsy to it. It's very different to the natural look uh, or even just a cat eye flick like I tend to wear all the time. And I'm really loving seeing people's take on this euphoria inspired makeup. There's a lot of kind of embellishments to the face, whether it's little pearls that have been uh, glued to the around the eye or little diamantes, uh, a lot of sort of colorful winged liner. I do think it is a great way to experiment a little bit more with your self-expression and who you are when it comes to makeup and so if you are a makeup lover then you're probably all over this and have already given it a go but those are the trends that i personally am really loving at the moment many of which i think are very very classic very timeless and will extend beyond the current season yeah. so uh definitely ones that are worth considering adding to your own wardrobe i hope that you enjoyed this video and you know i want to know which trends you are loving right now and i want to know if any of the ones that i mentioned you absolutely 
absolutely hate so please share it was so much fun kind of having a conversation with you on the previous video about trends so I definitely want to do the same again with this one if you are new here and you want to see more videos from me then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you did enjoy it and I will see you next time with a new one see you very soon bye